Hello, my name's Julian Edgar, and I'm the author of the book you see in front of you, Do It Yourself Loudspeaker Building. Now, on the cover of that book, there's a very tricky spherical speaker enclosure, and I cover how to build that in another one of these videos. But what I want to do in today's video is talk about a similarly easy, cheap, and simple speaker enclosure. It's not a box, instead, it's a tube. So here is one, it's made from heavy walled plastic pipe as the main ingredient of the enclosure design. And here I've covered it in carpet and put a car speaker grill on the front. And over here in my home workshop, you can see a pair of those speakers driven from this uh, receiver. They will fill the whole shed with sound. Now it's not hi-fi and it's never meant to be hi-fi, but it's surprisingly good. And with a little bit of bass boost, it's, it's certainly acceptable for listening to on a whole day basis. Now, how do you make them? Well, before I get to that, I actually use Woofer Tester to design the volume of the enclosure to match it to the driver that's being used and whether or not I use a port. But if you're just putting some cheaper speakers into some pipes, just go for a sealed enclosure. Uh, 99 times out of 100, you're going to be pretty much on the mark and it'll certainly sound a lot better than some cheap vibrating wooden enclosure with panels that are unbraced and so on. But just keep in mind, uh, if you want the best results, use a proper software and hardware package to test the drivers you're using and then match them to the enclosures. So what's the speaker enclosure look like? Well, the key thing to look at in this image is the thickness uh, of the pipe, the wall thickness of the pipe. Don't use thin walled UPVC pipe, the sort that's used for drain pipes and things like that. See if you can find a place where a factory is being built or an industrial site, and you'll often see offcuts of this really heavy walled plastic pipe. I don't have the measurement in front of me, but I'd say that wall thickness is something like five millimeters. The second thing to notice on this image is that I have cut out a piece of MDF so that it fits in the end of the pipe. You glue it into the pipe so it's perfectly sealed. And obviously before I placed it in there, I also cut out the hole for the driver. Now, I used a sanding disc to smooth the join, which makes it look nice and, and, and flat and uh, consistent. Uh, the next thing you need to do is to put inside of the pipe uh, some quilt wadding or other speaker wadding material. I just use quilt wadding, it's cheap, it's, it's widely available, and it works very effectively. Of course, at the other end of the length of pipe, you put a blanking uh, panel, a curved, uh, a circular blanking panel also of this uh, MDF. Just leave room for a wire to come out or terminal block, whichever you want. Now, this is a different speaker, uh, a different driver. I've made a couple of these sets of uh, pipe speakers, and uh, this one's a slightly smaller diameter speaker. Obviously, it has to be able to fit in the pipe. Uh, this pipe, incidentally, is available in sizes up to about 300 millimeters diameter, and perhaps even larger, uh, over a foot diameter. So uh, even if you've got, say, an eight inch speaker, you'll, you'll certainly be able to find a pipe to suit. Don't go really long in the pipe, because obviously then you'll get reverberations running up and down the pipe and that's likely to to adversely affect your sound so here it is again the final version uh, covered in carpet works exceptionally well I, I'm amazed at how good it sounds and whenever I crank it up in the shed in my home workshop I'm always looking at them and thinking wow how can those little speakers do that I think it's partly because the enclosure is so stiff so you're not getting the vibrations coming out of the enclosure walls that you do get on a lot of cheap small uh, timber or wooden based enclosures the book's called Do It Yourself, Do It Yourself Loudspeaker Building, uh, and I cover lots of tricks and tips, including the pipe speakers, including the spherical enclosures, and also uh, improving the sound of existing speakers that you might have. Thank you.